we want to determine if the improper integral converges or diverges, and if it converges, we want to determine the value. This is an improper integral because the upper limit of integration is infinity. Let's do a quick review of improper integrals, and then we'll come back to this example. Notice these integrals on the left are all improper because the limits of integration involve positive or negative infinity. So looking at number one, we want to replace infinity with b, and then take the limit as b approaches infinity of the integral. For number two, we want to replace negative infinity with a, and then take the limit as a approaches negative infinity of the integral. Of course, we don't have to use a and b, but that's pretty normal. And then notice on number three, if both limits of integration involve negative and positive infinity, we're going to have to break it up into two different improper integrals, where c can be any real number, and then we have to apply number one and number two to both of these integrals. If the limit exists, we say that the improper integral converges, or is convergent. If the limit doesn't exist, we say the improper integral diverges, or is divergent. So looking at our example, we want to write this as the limit as b approaches infinity of the integral from zero to b of six e to the negative three x dx. Now we're going to evaluate this definite integral and then take the limit as b approaches positive infinity. Here we need to recognize that we'll have to apply u substitution here, so we'll have u equals negative three x, so differential u is equal to negative three dx. Now let's compare this to our integral. u is equal to three x, but notice how we're left with six dx and we have negative three dx. So if we multiply both sides of the equation here by negative two, we would have negative two du is equal to six dx. And now we can replace six dx with negative two du. So let's go ahead and rewrite this in terms of u so we can integrate. We'll have the limit as b approaches infinity We'll leave off the limits of integration temporarily because they're in terms of x. So we'll have the integral of e to the u, and then again, dx is negative two du. So we'll put du here, and we'll pull out the negative two. So we'll have the limit as b approaches infinity of negative two times the antiderivative of e to the u, which is just e to the u, so this is negative two e to the u, but again, u is negative three x. And we need to evaluate this at b and zero. Before we evaluate this limit, I think it's gonna be helpful if we write this as the limit as b approaches infinity of negative two over e to the positive three x power. It's often easier to evaluate infinite limits if it's in fraction form. So now we'll have the limit as b approaches infinity of negative two all over e to the three b power minus negative two all over e to the zero power. Well, as b approaches infinity, notice how this denominator is increasing without bound. So this fraction is approaching zero and this fraction is not affected by b, so we'd have minus, this would just be negative two, since e to the zero is equal to one, and minus negative two would be positive two. So the value of this improper integral is equal to two, and since this limit exists, we can say this improper integral converges. We'll take a look at another example in the next video.